Good evening, nerds. This video has been quite a long time in the making. <laughs> I've been waiting for my book of the month for, I don't know, this is the latest it's ever come. Thanks a lot, book of the month, or thanks a lot, UP USPS, or whatever. Anyway, let's open some boxes. This is what I've got to open today. I've got book of the month, Aardvark, Fairy Loot, sorry, no, that's a that's uh, the last Brandon Sanderson box. Oh no, I forgot about that. Adult Fairy Loot, Illumicrate, and then a something I bought like separate from an Illumicrate subscription. I saw it in somebody else's box from last month and I had to have it. So I went on Pango Books and found it and I bought it. And then I also have a special edition set that I bought a couple months ago and it came sort of early and I was so excited. And I could not, I couldn't wait. I like, I had that thing in my house less than 24 hours and I had to open it. So I will insert that uh, at the end. Anyway, let's open some stuff. I guess we're doing book of the month first. <laughs> Even though this was the last to arrive, it's being opened first. So excited about this one, you know. And the reason I'm excited about this is because I just read this author's first novel and I loved it so much. I bound it up to five, but it was basically a four and a half star book. And I'm really hopeful that this is gonna be a full five. And that's Interesting Facts About Space by Emily Austin. At least the other book, which I think this one's gonna be kind of similar, just with a different character, is about a young woman who has autism. Don't know if she's diagnosed or not. The other one was queer. I think this one might be queer too. She's obsessed with space and she channels her anxieties and her worries into that, I think. Anyway, I've heard nothing but amazing things and I'm so excited to read this. And then this one I may regret. I have two in here that I may regret and Aardvark too. That is Butcher and Blackbird. And this is a serial killer romance. And by that, I mean that, that somebody doesn't fall in love with a serial killer. Well, they do. But two serial killers fall in love with each other. And they both are like Dexter type killers where they only kill bad guys. And apparently it's very funny. Apparently there's also like too much sex, but I can just like skip those parts if the rest of it's going to be really good. And I trust some of the people that I've heard that this is good from. Anyway, I'm very curious. So I just got it. <laughs> oh, they're back to the blue on the bookmarks. Oh, that's cute. Bookmark copy submitted by Ashley C. from Clearwater, Florida, member since 2020. That's neat. How do you submit copy? I want to submit copy. This is the bookmark. This book hits the plot. Now I have to think of a good bookmark pun so I can send it and get my name on a bookmark. New life goal. Okay, next up is Aardvark. So this one, I kind of can't believe it was in a subscription box, let alone that somebody published it with like a real publisher because this is... I think I'm pretty sure it's Omegaverse. If you don't know what that is, Google it. Don't Google it at work. Do not Google it at work. If you have questions, feel free to IM me or, or find me somewhere and I'll send you some links. But anyway, that's The Fake Mate by Lana Ferguson. I really like this edition of this book. This is really pretty. What does the inside look like? Oh, it's pink and purple. So this is a book, is a fake dating situation. I don't think that he's a werewolf. I think that they're, he's an alpha, I think. Is he a werewolf? I think he's a werewolf. It's a romance between, and the fake mate, because like mating is a thing. Like you're, you're a perfect mate. Anyway, I don't want to explain it. Again, if you have questions, find me somewhere else. Uh, Lindsay and I are buddy reading this in February. So I'm gonna get to it pretty soon and I'll have thoughts, I'm sure. What do they got this month? Um, there's a scavenger challenge, which I should do. And then this month's bookmark, ooh, they went stripey. They've never been on stripey before. And then this says, please use in lieu of a bandage or chewed on pen. I've never used it, wait, I have. I have used a band-aid as a bookmark. I have, I def and a pen. I don't chew my pens though, but I have used a pen. <laughs> I'm gonna save Sanderson because it's the last one ever. Let's do Illumicrate. So this is the December Illumicrate. I already know what the book is. I know what the books are ahead of time for most of these boxes, if not all, because I wanna be able to skip them. I'm gonna do that more now, from now on. And if I ever skip, I'll like still talk about the book and why I skipped it. Here's the book, The Principle of Moments. It is getting no buzz anywhere, <laughs> but it does sound interesting to me, so I do wanna read it. I just haven't seen anyone else reading it, and the only people I've seen adding it are people who've got it in Illumicrate. So that's never a good sign, but maybe it's great anyway, and I just 
haven't seen people reading it. So this is a sci-fi. I think it's a space opera, actually. Pippin, don't eat those. Don't eat those. It's got the little stringies. Ooh, this is thick. So here's the book. There's the spine. Those are the pretty edges. Those are pretty. I'm not a huge fan of this cover. The original cover, though, I don't like even more. So this is an improvement. Ooh, that's pretty. But let's talk about the summary here. It takes place in, looks like, two different timelines. The year 6066 and 1812. And it's got time traveling in it. So it takes place in the far future. And then there's somebody who's a time traveler who's trying to fix something. They're in Regency London. There's a British museum involved. Okay, there's a prophecy. This sounds really good. I hope it's good. But it worries me that no one's been reading it. Maybe they're just dummies. So let's see what it looks like naked. So this is what it looks like naked. Not too fancy. Just a quote. It says, courage is the only thing stronger than fear. And love is the thread that holds the atoms of this universe together. Scientifically inaccurate, but a lovely sentiment. Inside of the book. Is that a time machine? What is that? Got these pretty end papers. Are they different on this side? Yep. So yeah, that's time machine because this is Regency London. This is 6066, presumably. So this will be interesting. I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna get to it though. This one I'm super excited for. I got spoiled for this one. These people who don't warn you when they're going to show you in a haul a book that you don't want to be spoiled for, I've had it. And this person works for Fairy Loot. I'm sure some of you know who she is, but she's the second time she's spoiled me. Sometimes I don't care about being spoiled, but sometimes like I'm really looking forward to the book and I don't want to be spoiled. And this is one of those cases. Okay, so the theme is Eclipse. Spoiler card if you want to be spoiled. Again, I already know what the book is. So I'm glad it still comes in these little bags. I wonder which is more eco-friendly, the plastic wrap that the Illumicrates come in now or this situation. Okay, so we've got blue, which I've only seen the cover. I haven't seen the rest of the book, so just the cover is, is spoiled for me. Oh, is there a letter? Yes, from Sara El Arifi. That's pretty, character art. and a, a lot, Yeah, that's so pretty, oh my God. So the first cover for this is intriguing, but I think this is just gorgeous. This is so stunning. I love this color palette. I love the light yellow and the golden of the sun. And the, oh, it's so good. It's so pretty. And then here's the back. It says, divided by blood, imprisoned by fate, bound by desire. Welcome to the intoxicating world of the Fae. It's Fae Bound, by the way, by Sara El Arifi. Oh my God, this book is beautiful. <laughs> I'm in love with this book, you guys. It's so good. Oh my goodness. So this is cloth bound, which you guys know I love that situation when it's cloth bound. There's the stunning spine and then the back. And then inside, oh, it's that same piece of artwork, but here's the full piece. Really, I love color, this color palette. I love it so much. And then I hope the ends are different. Yep. I think that's the other sister. So this is about two sisters and I believe they are elves. For whatever reason, the elves and the fae in this world have been separated and they get, I don't know if they're outcast from their community or if they leave on purpose, but they find themselves in the court of the fae. So two elves in, a, in the fairy court. And then here's the really pretty edges. And then just a the blue. Uh, this is one of my favorite books that they've done. Oh, oh, there's a alternate dust jacket. Pretty. Although I really, I like the, this a lot better than that. Wow, that's so pretty. Very impressed with Fairy Loots editions, frankly. They just appeal to me on like a lot of them on a visceral level. They're just classic, you know what I mean? They're, they're not like overdone. This is, I don't know, that's just my opinion. Actually, right now, let's cut, since I just did Fairy Loot, let's cut to my opening of a Fairy Loot Special Edition set, which is the first one of these I've ever ordered. So, past Ashley from like two weeks ago. Here you go. Okay, so I'm sure as my future self has told you, I was too impatient to wait for this. I've been looking forward to this so much. So I'm gonna open it now. It's currently January 2nd. I don't know when my Aardvark and Book of the Month boxes are getting here, but we're opening this now because I cannot have this box in my house one more day. 
This is a special edition set of a series that I've already read, but I somehow don't own. I'm not sure why I never bought it. Maybe because I wasn't a huge fan of the original covers. I, I don't know. I, I, I read them from the library initially. So honestly, I have no idea why I don't already own them. But when this came out, I said, it's time. These are too beautiful. You don't own these. You can own these gorgeous books and it's time. So without further ado, let's open. I feel like a kid on Christmas. This is my Christmas present. This is the only, well, I got some pajamas from my mom, but we didn't do presents this year really, so. Here we go. Oh my God, they're so pretty, holy I am making a mess. What are they? Thread rising. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so excited. These are just so pretty. Okay, so first up, we've got Red Rising. This is the front cover. This is the spine. I love these edges. Like sprayed edges are really common now, or and designed edges and stenciled edges and all this stuff, but this is just so like subtle and cool. And they're going to be doing the last four books, I think, in this same style. So when you put the, all the spines together, it's going to be like a solar system, maybe. I don't know. So now I haven't seen the inside yet. I've just seen this. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, so we've got this. Presumably that's Darrow. And the back has uh, this on it. It's, I think that's probably Mars, right? There's no artwork on the inside of the covers. That's fine. And then the inside, which is that colored. So yeah, that's definitely Darrow. And let's see what's, okay, it's been too long since I've read these books, so I actually don't know who this is. <laughs> but I'm sure it's, it's a great representation. Okay, so that's number one. Now that I have these, by the way, I have to read them before the end of the year. And also my plan is to start them over the summer, I think rereading and then I do now want to go in and read the next series. All right, next up we've got Golden Sun, which is my favorite of these. So this is the front cover. I'm not sure exactly what that is supposed to be. Again, it's, I haven't read any of these books since they were published. This is the spine on this one and on the back we have a quote, home isn't where you're from, it's where you find light when it all grows dark. Profundity. And then this one, has three planets on it. Looks like it's Jupiter, Uranus, and Pluto, which no longer a planet, guys. It's no longer, it's very sad. And then this has gotta be Mustang, right? I'm, I'm not crazy, this has gotta be Mustang. Very pretty. Somehow I didn't realize either of them were blonde. I think I've been picturing them with black or brown hair the whole time, but I guess they're blonde. That's, so shows, shows, oh, okay, who's this? Hey, get down. Ben. I don't remember who this is, but he looks he looks scary. He looks scary. Oh, and then the back. That's pretty. These are really pretty. And they're like, I like that they're not overdone and everything like artistically flows together super well. Like they're not over the top. They're, they're subtle, but classy. Anyway, that's how I feel. And then the last one is Morning Star. That's obviously a centurion helmet. This is the spine. And then the back has another quote. Forget a man's name and he'll forgive you. Remember it and he'll defend you forever. This one didn't have a quote, did it? Oh, I missed this one. Measure of a man is what he does when he has power. And then this one has Neptune on it, I guess. I've been waiting for this. Severo. Everybody's favorite character is Severo, right? I'm sure there's some people who like Darrow, but Severo all the way for me, baby. Okay, and then the back. Oh, that's pretty too. I don't remember her name, but I know who that is. I don't want to break the spine. <laughs> wow, those are so pretty. Totally worth it. Totally worth the money that I, that I splurged. And I will be buying the rest of the books as well. 
when they come out in these iron editions. So this is actually the second version of special editions that Fairy Loot has done for this series. Oh, what the heck? There was something on my table and it scratched against the cover. Don't scare me like that, books. Uh, so this is actually the second special edition set of these books that Fairy Loot has done. They're calling these their Iron Editions, which I guess they're doing this because there are books that they released those special editions back before they did all the customizations that, that this has. Like those books didn't have a dust jacket. They were just naked hardcover and they had sprayed edges and they had that, but like no end paper artwork, no character art. So they're just redoing special editions that weren't as tricked out, I guess, is the idea. I'm not complaining because I, I wasn't into fairy loot back when they made that that series or I would have bought it. So yeah, I'm happy with this. These are gorgeous. Now I have to reread. And now back to future Ashley. Okay, so you're back. Aren't those pretty? They're so pretty. Hold on, let me go get them. So here they are. I will put them in the stack. So gorgeous. And then I can put them on my shelf. So that's all my books. So now let's open my bookish items. So this is the Illumicrate item. So I had the full Illumicrate box for like two years, a year and a half, you know, something like that. And there was occasions where some of the items were just stunning and sometimes they were beautiful and useful at the same time. Like I, I like the items that you can use. And one of my favorites that they do are drink, drinky things. <laughs> like I've gotten tumblers, I got mugs, I got silverware from them, I got plates, just useful shit, you know what I mean? I was gonna be sad, like, but a lot of it is just crap. Like, I mean, it's not crap, it's high quality stuff, but it's just stuff that I won't use, or art prints from books that I don't, that I haven't read and will never read and that kind of stuff, and it was just like money that I didn't need to be spending. I just said, if there's ever something that you really love, you can just go find it on Pango at a ridiculously marked up price. And this wasn't too bad, it was only $15, which I think is fair. Like you, it's a mug. So if you bought a mug in the wild, you can easily spend 15 to $25 nowadays. So I think that was more than fair in terms of price. So this is a rosy thorn mug. And those of you who know me will know why I'm so excited about this. I have a bunch of other rosy thorn mugs. I have the Song of Achilles. I have Harold the Ninth, um, Gideon the Ninth. I have the Winter Night Trilogy. I think those are the three that I have. And now I have Murderbot. Sanctuary Moon, Murderbot's watching their soap. There's Murderbot and Murderbot is on a space station. I'm so happy I have this. If I break it ever, I will cry. And I'm gonna keep the box, is that is that weird? And I don't put these on a shelf, I use them. I drink tea out of them and they get stained and I have to scrub them. I'm so pleased, I love Murderbot so much. Last box, sadness. This has been so much fun getting these every month. I just, I'm really sad about it. I wish another author would do this. I, I mean, there's no other author that <laughs> writes four extra books in a year and a half or whatever he did. But I wouldn't mind like the goodies either. Like the goodie boxes have been really fun, even without the books. Okay, so this month's box says, there are stories to tell, wit. He's been the overlord of this this whole year of Sanderson experience. I already know one of the items in here because I've seen people reading it on Goodreads. Oh, there's a thank you and it says scan QR code for a special message from Brandon. Okay, I will do that later. I won't subject you guys to that. Here's the spoiler card if you want to look and be spoiled for what's on here in the box. No babies. You leave mommy's stuff alone. Oh, there's two pins in here. I was only expecting one pin. Okay, let's see who we've got. Oh my god, it's a Brandon! And it says the number of the pin is 000, Brandon. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it so much. C000, Brandon. <laughs> oh my God, these guys are nerds. Okay, well, I'm definitely putting that on my pin banner. And let's see who's the last one. Oh, of course, Kelsier. Who else would it have been? I never picture Kelsier as blonde. He's not blonde in my head. He's He's got like dark brown hair, almost black. I'm sure they probably said he was blonde in the books, but I have never pictured it. My, my mind is just like 
glossed over that. So this is the item I got spoiled for, and this is a short story. And apparently it is one of Brandon's staff. He wrote this and he never sold it to anyone. And he says it's it's really rough and he, it's not in publication. What you might call it? It's not ready for publication and like it's not good enough. And he says that like he knows when his, his stuff isn't ready. But this is uh, one of his staff. I forget which one. Maybe it says inside of the book. It's his favorite short story of Brandon's. So he asked him to put it in the box and they, they made a cute little hardcover. Um, oops. I made a cute little hardcover and I don't remember what it's about. So let's read the spoiler card. Let's see if I don't get spoiled. A Sanderson curiosity. Celebrate the finale of the year of Sanderson with this previously unpublished short story from Brandon's early days of writing. And the ebook is available for everyone. If you're wanting to check it out, I think it might be, it's either free or ridiculously cheap. I can't remember. It's called long chills and case dough, which is a super weird name. Peter, Peter Alstrom is the one that loves this one. <laughs> it's a hard-boiled detective. So it'll be interesting to see <laughs> how he does with one of those. Socks! I love socks! Okay, they say air on the side of awesome. They're one size fits all, so I think they're gonna be a little big, but hopefully they will shrink when I put them in the dryer. And they have the, the Dragon Steel logo. Oh, that's a nice touch. They're combined with thread instead of plastic and then they've got a little embroidered dragon steel i love socks you guys i didn't used to be a sock person and now i love socks and i think there's only one more thing in here what the heck could this be so i just got spoiled for what this is but i will not tell you their boxes are so nice like i don't even this is just the box that it comes in and it's like one of the nicest things i've ever held oh wow okay that's I see so this is one of these things that it's like so useful and thoughtful but I will never use it because it's too pretty so it's a writer's notebook it says there are still stories to tell and it says on the spoiler card there are customizations so let me see if I can show you what those are okay so it's got end paper art from a lot of Brandon's characters it looks like Paladin it looks like Somebody's having a fight with a, oh, it's bridge four carrying the bridge. And then Zeth. So this, this is a Stormlight one. It's Khaled and Zeth and then scenes where they're in. See, just opening it is crease the spine. I get upset about it. Okay, oh, and it's a bullet journal. So it looks like he's got a little note in here uh, to me. And then it's got quotes and oh there's a table of contents oh yeah he's got prompts in here so i don't know if you can see there's a bullet journal on one side of the page and on the other there's lined paper and i think that all these prompts are just <laughs> things to make you think and make your brain start spinning <laughs> this one just says vikings versus versus cthulhu <laughs> spook alley where they really kill you and you're a cloned back to life afterward there is a king in history who was so unlucky people refused to say his name. Make this unluck real in your world and show what it's like to be this person. That's fun. I bet he had fun coming up with these. Okay, and then on the back we've got Vin. Not sure who that is. Oh, that's the Lord Ruler. Ellen and, and Sazed. Sazed. It's, it's, wait, why did I suddenly forget how to pronounce one of my favorite characters' names? Sazed. It's Sazed. Um, yeah, Vin in her party dress. And up there, and that's the Lord Ruler. And then it looks like, oh, Miss Burn Era 2. Oh, Asteris. So yeah, that's that's really neat. Good way to end it out. Okay, well, that wraps up my unboxing. Let me get all of this crap together. So let's hold up these books. <laughs> How do people do this? I'm like, Here's my books that I got. Most of these have really pretty spines. Oh, blue and black. And they're all space. Or that one's water, I guess. No, it's sky also. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm super pleased with this, with this month. And this is a really long unboxing. This is like one of my longest unboxings ever. So if you're, what am I, how do I end these videos? Thank you for stopping by, as always. If you like this video, please like and subscribe if you want to. 
If you want more content like this, I will unbox once a month. If you made it this far, please leave me some sort of a space related emoji since a lot of these are about space, including this one. Otherwise, let me know if any of these are on your to read list or if you've read any of them. I'm, I'm suddenly forgetting how to end videos. Thanks for dropping by. I hope you have a great rest of your night. Love you. Bye.